Hey everybody, Brad Spinnick here, and this week on Chatterfox we're going to talk about con safety for uh, younger first. But first, I'm going to point out that one of the reasons why we're back in the house and not in the studio is we have an infestation. We have spiders. And not the cute little ones, the big mean ones. Um. So, we've kind of been driven out of our uh, studio for a little while while it gets sprayed. So, um, well... It's embarrassing, I know, but still, we're back in the house. Um, we probably will be throughout the next couple videos, at least. Um, also because we kind of have to find a way to, uh, you know, cool it down in there a little. Um, anyways, convention safety for young first. So, um, Kit and I have actually had a uh, friend of ours that comes out and kind of visits visits us at convention, sorry, tongue tied. Um, and he is a little bit younger. So one of the things are, one of the things uh, we've kind of had to do with him around is uh, we have to kind of look after him, which by the way, not a big deal. It's actually kind of fun. We got to play uh, board games last time. Um, but anyways, um, a couple of the things that have become a uh, issue is uh, well, one time he decided to, uh, walk off, and, uh, another time he kind of, uh, well, his mom didn't quite fully understand what the, uh, Faraday cage effect of BLFC means, and, um, we were kind of late to a, uh, meetup time, so she kind of panicked just a little. Um, anyways, so... A couple of things to keep in mind is if you have a parent and you uh, have very strict times that you're supposed to check in with them, always check in with them because um, you're going to worry your parents if you don't check in. Another thing is if you guys don't have a set place to uh, meet and set time to meet and you're supposed to be sticking together, don't just walk off. You can scare a lot of people like that. Oh. Oh. Anyways, um, and I know conventions are kind of exciting and there's a lot of stuff to do, but if you're with your parents, make sure you stay with them. Last thing you want is a, you know, frightened parent. And parents, if you're gonna, um, bring your kids to conventions, do yourself a favor, set up a time and a place to meet up, um, just in case you get separated, because sometimes kids are gonna want to go off and do their own thing, um, but yeah, other than that, kind of plan accordingly. Um, another thing for kids, if you go off alone without your parents, um, a lot of the time, con staff will be watching out for you, but they can't be everywhere at once. So if something weird happens or somebody who's just a little too drunk kind of approaches you and they're creeping you out a little bit, just walk away. Find convention staff, uh, do whatever you can to get yourself to a safe place. Anyways, um, so yeah, make sure you get yourself to a safe place. Um, another thing is if, uh, somebody does approach you that you don't know and, you know, tries to, you know, get you away from the convention, um, this has actually apparently happened at a couple conventions, uh, do yourself a favor, get away as quickly as you can. If you have a cell phone, the number for Flare and Con Security is on your badge, on the back of your badge. Get away, call them immediately, and if you can, uh, get a picture of the person. If not, describe them to security very, very well. Because um, apparently there have been, uh, not many, but a couple conventions where that has become a minor uh, issue. Um, also, don't accept drinks from strangers. Because uh, I had a friend... Uh, who kind of went with us to FC, um, well, not with us, but they kind of met up with us at FC, um, 2018, and she had, uh, accepted a drink from somebody she didn't know, and, uh, she got really, really, really drunk, and she was only, like, 17, so.
So that was a thing. That was bad. Oh, also, make sure you stay with your uh, parents in the dealer's den. Um, cause, uh, well, in some conventions I know they put the, uh, you know, the not so, not so wholesome stuff, uh, in a completely different part of the dealer's den, but, uh, some conventions don't separate that, and, well, you don't want to go staring at naughty things with, uh, a yellow band on your badge. Um, and for adults, bear in mind, if there is a minor at a convention, a lot of conventions do something called yellow banding, which is where their, uh, um, their badge will have a yellow band where their name is instead of a white one. So, um, if you can, if you see a minor without their parents, keep an eye out for them. Uh, ask them if they need to find their parents or if their parents are there with them. If they're not, okay. Uh, if they are though and they're looking for their parents, help them out. At very least, help them uh, find either uh, Con Ops or Flare, one of the two. Because um, it can be really scary getting lost at the convention. Trust me, I know. I, I, I've. Uh, I've been in that position at least once. Oh. We're scary. You couldn't find a kid? Hey. Mm. Anyways, um, I, I guess that's it for this week. Um, anyways, uh, until next time everybody, bye! <laughs> oh yeah, I want to show our patrons some love too because they're awesome. Their contributions help us to afford all the neat stuff we use to record. So thank you. And um, if you want to become a patron too, you can click the link down in the description. You'd really be helping the channel out and you'd get a couple nifty goodies too. Anyways, if you made it this far in the video, then yay, you're amazing. By the way, subscribe. Please don't make a foxy bag. Mm.